All right, let's let's stick with the hurling. Um, Peter Duggan apparently was on the verge of um, throwing his lot in, kind of saying he'd had enough as a as a hurler, and then all of a sudden this year decided, no, actually, yeah, I'm going to give one last spin. And you caught up with him yesterday. Yeah, down at the PwC headquarters, he was PwC Player of the Month for July. Uh, so it's a, kind of a bit of a, a backlog giving out these awards just because of how intense the games were during August. So he's there in brilliant form, chatted uh, a good bit about the club, about his season and, as you say, about the comeback because it has been a season of arrival for Peter Duggan. So here's how our conversation went yesterday. Peter, how are things? Uh, good, no. Good. <laughs> Let's get straight into it. Uh, Limerick All-Ireland Champions, you're the only team to have beaten him this year. How does that feel? I don't know if that reflects too much now on, uh, on that Limerick team. They were brilliant. Um, Delighted from coming into the game didn't really uh, didn't really bother me too much who was who was going to win. I think I was uh, I, I, I don't really know if I was voting for or voting for uh, Limerick to win, but uh, when the when the ball was thrown in, I was absolutely delighted. So it, was, it was brilliant to see him win, and you can see how much it meant to the whole of Limerick too. And it's just nice it's nice to nice to have a different winner. Yeah. Like to see like 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 last year with Watford and. Um, Watford and Galway, it was great just not having the usual the usual one or two winning. It's nice to always see a different team come up long. Like. It's very true. We were talking about this the other day, that the championship has obviously been unbelievable, but when you look at the wider spectrum of things, there's been five different winners this decade. There were six in the 90s, which is widely regarded as the best decade in the history of hurling. We're not far off at the moment, are we? Oh, no, exactly. It just shows the centre of hurling that it, that is these days. Like There's there's eight teams out there that can all contest for an Ireland and, and all with equal enough ability. Like, like The thought I know Munster next year is terrible find me like like five teams with very similar abilities uh, all going hell for leather for each other it's like I think in general though this championship really uh, really brought out the true nature of hurling and its aggressiveness and and like it's it'll uh, It'll re- I, like it's terrifying the thought of 2019 <laughs> because I it, whatever good 2018 was 2019 could be uh, could be scandalous altogether. <laughs> scandalous, it's a good way of putting yeah. it. Let's hope it is. Um, you notched 376 this year in the championship. It's some tally. I dare say there's one point that you might select as your best score of the year, though. That one against Galway that hopped up for you, that you kind of hopped up for yourself, which everybody is still puzzled by. I think. Yeah, uh, likewise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm puzzled myself. Um, uh, lucky, lucky. So anyway, I can I, I can put it. Uh, could I could it just as easily? I think I, I think I thought that I had an advantage, so I just said, you know what, sure, look, give it a go and see if it goes over. And lucky enough, it went over. Was it based mostly on instinct, that, or is it something you've done before? Um, I'd be messing about the field. I, I, lo- I think the main part of hurling that I enjoy is going onto the field, poking around with the lads before training and things like that. So I'd be messing around one hand. Messing, messing around and uh, yeah, so kind of be in the back of the head a small little bit but at the same time for it to actually work out is, is, is lucky is the best way to put it really Is it the best point you've ever scored? Um, I didn't say it, 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 it'll be up there but I, I don't know like it's, it's a, it, it, at the same time there, there are scores there that other lads would do that are, I, I, I consider 10 times better and I'd, I'd be putting mine down as lucky so I don't know really. <laughs> I'm not sure about that so just in terms in general this year like when you look at a score like that when you look at the 376 as I mentioned there that you scored there's no luck about that it came from a season of excellent form not just from freeze but from play as well like did this season feel like a bit of an arrival for you? Yeah, well, look, I, I was saying to the lads, lads inside, uh, like I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time last year with Clooney, and it just made hurling a lot more enjoyable. To like uh, other years might have been a struggle. Your your year is so long that coming towards the middle of the year, like you'd be burnt out. You'd be you, you'd want a, little, a few days off, you'd, or whatever it'd be. Like this year, I just found hurling so much more enjoyable. Just I, I had a starting place and. And like uh, from our run with Clooney last year, getting to the county final, uh, it just kind of made everything a lot easier. Everything kind of just flowed a lot easier. Um, but I just this year was kind of I, that, that was the main difference. I think this year, a bit, a bit more confidence in in my ability. I kind of knew what I can and can't do, and it just kind of enjoyed myself really yeah like where does that com- confidence come from is it as you mentioned there just the starting place is that a huge boost really in terms of getting that confidence yeah yeah that is that is that would be it would mainly be it like with that and look it's just I, I i know what i can do from hitting freeze and things like that like and i know i may, I, I miss a good a good chunk mm. but uh it's it, you're, you get your confidence throughout the game. If you do one thing good, it, it's, it makes it easier to do the next thing, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Um, like, if you miss a free, it's a lot easier to miss another free. But if you score a free, it's a lot easier to score the next one. It's just, it, 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 in general, it's a, I'd never really go by a game. Like, I, if you have a good game, it doesn't mean you're going to have a good game again. If I, I think it's moments in a game which can 
make the next moment easier if you understand what I mean yeah no definitely because yeah. it's interesting you say that because Patrick O'Connor was actually speaking this summer and saying that confidence was the main reason why Peter Duggan has become a household name in hurling this summer that like did you really feel you were struggling with the confidence previously um yeah well I love playing I love I, I, I love playing game in game out and, and understanding what you what you can and can't do you know what I mean and I, I, never, I haven't really had a chance over the last few years of nailing down a spot that I was there for a game or two like like if you look at the Cork game this year the first game I was absolutely horrific I don't think I touched the ball but um, I, they, I was lucky enough that they stayed starting me and, and lucky enough I got a got a few scores after that like I think what game was after it was Watford inside the park didn't even have a great game inside Watford just I, did, I don't think I missed a free that day I was just lucky but from play I didn't and lucky enough that they just kept kept me on the team and I kind of just got used to got used to playing at inter-county level because like you, I, I'm on the clear panel for seven years now I think this, yeah. is, this is my seventh year like, and just to not have a place you just you, you don't you find it difficult to um you you find it difficult to know your know what to do on the ball because you haven't you you don't really like compared to Clooney when I get the ball to Clooney I know I just try and score okay whereas it's different with Clare you have got to track you, back you, a bit like more you, you, your, your your whole game changes completely like so it's just now I'm kind of somewhat used to playing at, at uh, inter county level so it just makes each game a little bit easier because my understanding of my, what I have to do is a lot. Um, when you know that it makes everything a lot easier because you're less thoughts less thoughts during the game and is there more clarity coming from the management then this year that helps that uh, no not, not really just it, it, in general most of the county managers uh, would tell you the same thing like okay. just uh, just I, it was just the fact that I, I had a few games under my belt and just got used to what I had to do it was just that's what kind of stuck in, in my head like I like just you have to track back you have to try and get a, a few turnovers win the ball look at your offloads things like that like whereas I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have well I still would have known what to do but I wouldn't have had the same flow because I wouldn't have been playing the whole time if you understand what I mean sure no it makes perfect sense because you, you mentioned you've been in the panel for seven years and Davey as well as Patrick O'Connor this summer uh, didn't mention confidence he mentioned hard work and tackling as the reason why you've become the player that everybody's talking one of the players we've been talking about this summer like you've, you've kind of pointed it out there yourself that the tackling is something tracking back a bit more yeah. and that work rate like that that's really something now this summer that you've clearly got right but that only comes from being mentally fresh and mentally able to put in that effort, doesn't it's, it? Exactly. Yeah. Like if, if you're if you're burnt out from hurling, you'd find that you, you, you'd mm. see that you wouldn't you wouldn't see as many tackles going in. I'd say. Yeah, but, uh, th- definitely. Like th- that burnout question is very very interesting as well because when you think about it, you're only at the age of 25. I think you've only made like 12 championship starts or something. Yeah. But at the same time, at the age of 25, I wonder, do you feel that you've got a lot of miles in the clock? Oh yeah, definitely. Like you you. you, you Hur- hurling is a it's a full time job now. Like you're you're a hurler before you're anything else. Like uh, people look at you in the street and think you're a hurler. You're not a like you're not, you're not a college student. You're you're a hurler, and that's that's what people have in their head. Does that you. bother you? Um, no, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. I, I, because it doesn't last long. So like uh, any time anyone had ever asked you to do something, you'd always do it because you remember that things don't last as uh, like like you, you've only got a few years of it. You embrace it, enjoy it. And look back on it with pride. Then consider uh, compared to saying no to jobs or it's no to different things. Mm. Like uh, you, you, if you don't, if you don't do them now, you'll you'll never have the opportunity again. So it. Uh, so no, I I I enjoy it really. Yeah, yeah. It, it's an interesting one though, isn't it? Having that balance. What do you prioritise? Because if you look at one of your own teammates, there, Shane O'Donnell has clearly made the decision to go to, to go to yeah. Harvard next year. And I guess we don't know whether or not he'll be involved in, in the championship next year. Uh, it'll be tough given how early the championship seasons are, given the intercounty training sessions start and all that sort of stuff. So he's obviously gone the other direction. And I guess it's just up to each individual which they prioritise more. But ultimately, if it's a scholarship to Harvard, it kind of oh, uh, yeah, exactly. it's, it's a bit of an anomaly. Exactly. Like I would look if, if you know Shane. Shane Shane's a genius. Like and he's one of the nicest lads you'll ever talk to. Like and uh, in fair in fairness to him, you're you're not you're not going to refuse an, an opportunity to go to Harvard. It's one one thing that you look back on and with with absolute pride. Like uh, in fairness to him, like I think I think the whole hurling community out there is absolutely thrilled and delighted for him. And if he comes back next year in time for hurling, extra bonus really. What were you doing other than hurling this summer? Were you working with Clare GA in terms of uh, keep, keeping or like in, uh, groundskeeping basically? I mean, um, I'm in uh, LIT yeah. studying business and sports so I out placement this year so I was kind of tipping away at the county board doing a bit of everything um, kind of in the office for a small bit and then doing all their maintenance for the fields and things like that just 
I enjoy it. I, lo- I, lo- I love working my hands, so I was only happy happy out to. And in fairness to him, they understand. Then, like, we'll say coming up here for the day, like today, and and whatever. If I need to take off a Friday before a game to stay fresh, it's very handy that I I was lucky enough to be with the county board that they uh, they understand. They probably understand. Yeah, they understand completely. So like, I, I was lucky, but at the same time, now I'm finishing up college now this year, so I'm gonna have to go on the hunt for. Uh, for something new. It's quite the summer to be involved in grounds maintenance with Clare GA, the first game in Cusick Park in 21 years, so the pressure yeah. was on to get that one oh, right. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, but I love it. I love it. Yeah, there's a good bunch the good bunch inside of the, the county board affair, so uh, there'll be a bit of a laugh about so wouldn't mind it at all. It's a, actually a bit of a thrill when you when you when you cut the field and you're all playing on it a few days later, like it's a bit, a bit of crack. Like yeah, you get a, you get kind of the inside yeah. scoop if there's a few bad patches. I'm sure there was no bad patches no, now it in the no, pitch. No, no, it was no, because <laughs> I saw Brendan Bugler actually tweeting around that game saying uh, he did a mighty job of the pitch and then he did a mighty job on the pitch with the hurley <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the hand yeah. as well. Yeah, I uh, know. I love I love I love doing it earlier. So just uh, it's nice to, nice you can get your you can be thinking away of what you're doing your kind of visualization when you'll be cutting the field like you'll be thinking Jeez, would what you I do, yeah what do here i would you be should we you be only you be only cutting grass you don't need to concentrate too much like yeah yeah be thinking away of moments in the game what, what what should i do here thinking away of freeze and things like that like that's remarkable that's yeah. that's a real kind of leg up in terms of people who are into visualization as a free taker especially yeah. school no and i i i've I just always always have done it because you know i could be cutting grass in a few days of the week like you don't need your full concentration like you, you're only driving a straight line like yeah so like we we'll be thinking away there of moments in the game that you could that uh, just have it in the head just so when the opportunity arises like we'll say if the free in the corner you, you you've ran through it a few times and it just makes it easier like yeah definitely J- just to wrap up then uh, Clooney it could, you're back in with the club obviously over the next few weeks first round of the championship coming up you were in a county final last year how special would it be to top off a good personal 2018 for you with a county medal You've no idea how much that means to me. So if we, if we, if we, if we want to kind of, I I I don't know. <laughs> it's a hard to put into words, but that'll be that'll be the, a lifetime ambition of mine. Would be to to get a cannon for Clooney Quinn. Yeah, like especially given the community, they, they speak so highly of you down there as well. Just given some of the pieces that were written about you before that All Ireland semi final. I I in Clooney Clooney is everything to me. I mm. I think I think club is the main thing in. Um, for most hurlers or most footballers, your your club your club is everything. Like they they bring you up along. They like uh, if if anyone in the club ever asked me to do anything, I wouldn't think twice. I just go and do it. Like because you remember, like I remember I when I was younger, I used to uh, look up to Bruiser Fergal Lynch. Like yeah. I used to look up to him, and I remember Martin, my my older brother then would have been very good friends with Fergal. I remember Fergal would be calling away to the house, like and I'd be looking up, idolising him. Like I remember he, I asked him for a, I don't even actually remember asking him for a jersey, but someday he just landed over to jersey. He was like, "Do you want me to sign that?" No, no way. And uh, I was like. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just as shy as anything. Like, and I, I, I kind of from that, I remember how much that meant to me. And I said, no, if anyone ever asked me for anything, I'd never, I'd never think twice about saying no. Like, I just go do it, or if someone asked for something, I just go and give it to them because you remember as a child, it means so much more to you as a child. So I just never, you, you, you never say no. Like, Peter Duggan, uh, just a good all-round guy and uh, one of the stars of the summer. Probably in line for an All-Star, certainly in the uh, conversation anyway, when the nominations for the PWC All-Stars come out, he's definitely going to be there. 